Do you know how can I make a digital caliper as a digital circuit? I can use IC4017 and a rotary. So do you see how does it work over here? If you want to make one of these, just follow us. of the IC4017 and the IC4017 actually we will have in the lab and you can see the circuit of it how to use with the oscilloscope function generator and rotary uh, for uh, making pulse clock so this is a decade counter it means it, it can count for us from number zero to number nine and we can use for example to make a, a digital meter also so maybe you need to know what are the application of this ic actually so uh, we can use in medical instruments so in the industry or in the medical part we can use in the heartbeat machine or also we can use in the led chaser for example for controlling the traffic we can use for counting the people or counting the vehicle and many other application as written in the data sheet so for using this uh, IC, actually you need to know the pin of this IC. So we will have 10 output for this IC. As you see in this picture, the order is not same. As a result, when you need to connect in your LEDs and use this sensor, you need to refer to the data sheet to know which pin is related to which number. For example, if pin 3 is related to the output number 0, then we have the ground and also we have the VCC. The VCC actually is 3 volts to 15 volts. Then we have the reset pin. The reset pin should be connected to the ground for uh, running the circuit. But in some cases, maybe you need to control. For example, you need uh, your LED run through zero to number six. So you need to connect your uh, reset pin to the pin number six or output seven actually. So this IC is counting from zero to number six and again start over. Next, the clock. The clock, we, to this pin, we need to connect whatever equipment we want to generate a clock pulse. For example, the function generator should be connected here. If you have the rotary, we need to use it here. Or if we are using the up amp 555, we need to connect it to this clock pin. Next, we have the enable one. The enable should be connected to the ground for our IC to work. And next, we have the carry out. So the carry out, when the, all the pins going from number zero to number nine, then for once the carry out will, will turn on. So the ratio of the whole pin to this pin is 10. Next, we need to see the logical inside of it. So this is the logical one. So as you see in this picture, so these are some D flip flop. They are in the series and they are making a shift register. As you see, the output of the last shift register is connected to the input of the first one. And also we have the reset pin. So the reset pin actually, how does it work? So we need to control each of them for the reset pin when it's sending for example for the first one when it's sending uh, one to the first uh, shift register so the others are zero and others don't work so this is the uh, logical circuit of this ic so maybe you have a question how can we have two digits actually or uh, three digits so how can we connect two IC together uh, to make more than one digit? So for example, for now we have to IC4017. So the first one, which is this one actually, I am connecting the uh, clock pulse 
uh, to this first IC and after that I need to connect the clock pulse of the second one to the carry out of the first one so this is actually the first one when it go from the uh, zero to number nine then the, the ratio of the first one to the second one is 10 to 1 so it means this one when it's going from 0 to number 9 this one is counting only for 1 so actually as a result we can also use it as a frequency divider so now let's go to the multi scene and I will show you how does this one working so this is the multi scene and I, I connected the key to the clock pulse because I need to generate the pulse over here with the key because the key when it's connected so it's sending 5 when it's not connected it's sending 0 to the clock pulse so I can generate the clock pulse over here the reset pin actually is connected to another key because every time I need to restart the blinking so now let's see how does this one working so i'm running so when i open and close so each time the led turn on so now as you see again it doesn't go through so what should i do so now i need to just uh, close uh, the key that which is connected to the reset one time and it will start over again so that's the circuit for the key now let's go to see how does it work with the function generator so the function generator as you see here i have the function generator the positive side is connected to the ground and the negative is connected to the ground and i will run it here i have the clock pulse here as you see i i choose this one and you will see the frequency here i will show it also on the uh, also let's go when when we are in the lab but now you can see when i'm changing the frequency uh, the speed of the blinking actual changes so now it's six okay i will put it on for example one hertz and you will see how does it work As you see, the speed of it is, is slower than the 6 frequency. So now I will put it on number 10. So as you see, it's getting faster. So now this is also... I'm connecting to uh, IC4017 over here. So as you see, I have used the transistor here to actually connect this LED one side to the, the first IC and the other side to the, the second IC uh, to run this matrix. This is a picture of the rotary so the rotary actually doesn't have any limit on it so as long as you turn it it will send pulse for you so this is the uh, vcc which is working with the five volts and we have also the clock pins for generating the clock so when you are turning the knob actually you are generating the clock pulse and then we have the ground which needs to be connected to the ground so one of the other application of the actually ic4017 is that you can also use a triac and diac to connect your ic to the cd power supply and also to the box so now let's go to the lab to see how these are actually working in the real world 
I have connected this rotary to the oscilloscope to show you how does this rotary producing clock pulse. So I connected the clock to this one from the oscilloscope and the positive and negative of this rotary should be connected to the power supply. Now let's see how does rotating this one actually show in the oscilloscope. So I'm start to actually rotating. So do you see it's it's generating a clock pulse for us. One and zero. So this is my circuit over here. As you see, I have used two IC4017 here. Number one is located here and the other one is here. I have the function generator. So for generating the pulse, it is connected to the first IC. The carry out of this first IC is connected to the clock of the second one. So when this one goes from zero to nine, and then after that started from the here. So when 10 times is moving this circuit, this one moving one. And then after that, so you can see the blinking here. So it depends on the frequency, as I said before. So the frequency here is one hertz. It means one second each LED is blinking. So if I increase the frequency, for example, to number four, you will see it becomes faster. And also if I increase it again to, for example, number eight, it's even faster. And these are the carry-ons. So the carry-ons turned on. 